Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and kind of update you guys a little bit with the Freeze Pulse character I showed you guys on the YouTube the other day. Uh, so one thing to note is my skill tree looks pretty similar. Um, I haven't really adjusted anything. The only thing I changed is I ended up picking Serpent Stance just temporarily because we got a Terran Shiver because it's very difficult to acquire like Void Batteries, Tull Borns, and Tull Falls this early into the game because the Tull items are only from the Tull Breaches and Void Battery is just a very rare drop. So we're just going to modify it to use three additional nodes with Terran Shiver. So our character is pretty squishy right now. Uh, our gear is like complete shit, asshole, bad. Um, I'm just using Spell Totem, Faster Casting, Freeze Pulse, Controlled Destruction. I don't even have a quality Freeze Pulse, actually. Um, we've got Mind Over Matter with our Life Pool, so we're sitting at about 3k effective life. So I'm just gonna run Herald of Ice and Purity of Elements because my gear is shit. And let me see what else I can do for you guys. Also, there's a new support gem that came out called Arcane Surge. I'm sure you guys have seen it on Reddit. A very good skill to use on like supported curses if you're self casting or like Orb of Storms for power charge on crit and or things like Flame Dash because you have a chance when you use it. Okay, see, uh, you have a chance when you use it. There you go to get Arcane Surge, which you can see adds quite a bit of damage to my Freeze Pulse. Now, again, this is only in a four link. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm also thinking of re like doing the tree. Like I'm gonna drop this proj damage and go through mana, and I might drop like all of totemic mastery, but I don't know yet. I also didn't get totemic zeal because I plan on dropping this whole bottom section and just coming out through mana. But anyway, let's run a uh, a beach map, dude, because we're 69, so we should run uh, 69 maps. What is this? Extra damage is cold. Players have less armor. So I'm pretty sure that this boss is gonna fucking slap me silly. Remember that in the beta, the boss health has been increased by like two. 2 to 2.5 times. I also don't have a Vol Lightning Trap or a Vol Haste, so these are huge things to add to the build. Remember, this is kind of like day one in the league right now. I went to sleep, woke up, and I'm making this video now. Um, so if I type slash ladder, I can't imagine people are that high level. 83, and then it goes down to like 75. I'm 69, so let's go ahead and test it out. Now we will get quite some more prod speed with the build as well, which is pretty cool. And we'll get much more cast speed when we go dual wield. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that trial after. We also need things like a Wise Oak. Wise Oak is pretty fucking important for our build too. Please don't be a freeze box, please don't be a freeze box. Okay, good. But as you can see, the AoE clear from these these totems is really good right now. And um, as I get more prod speed, the clear is just going to get better because of the damage effectiveness basically falling off. So hell yeah. Now, one thing to note as well is if I had a Joffrey's helmet, I could just put my uh, my Freeze Pulse totems inside my Joffrey's, it would get plus one, and on top of that, I'd be able to summon three, and that would be way better than a Terran Shiver right now, but I just don't really feel like doing that. Um, I really need like some Tullborns or Tull... Tull I think it's called Tullborns, yeah. That's like, ideal goal right now is finding some. Alright though guys, time to do no damage on this boss fight, so uh, here we go. Our single target isn't too great right now, like I said, there's a lot of a lot of things we still need to acquire. So here we go.
To be fair though, this guy is like a little bit tanky compared to the other bosses. But yeah, like Wise Oak plus a 5 link would probably just already double my damage. Getting two Tullborns would probably do double my damage again. And then uh, getting it into a Joffrey's would like double my damage again. So that's kind of like a short demonstration of the character. I will be playing this character way more. Um, so expect to see quite a few updates from it as it progresses through. Um, vice versa when I get all my gear and everything. Like literally if you guys want me to go over my gear you can take a look at it. It's, uh, it's, pretty, um, it's pretty good, Kappa. Yeah, but that's the character um, as of right now, so she's pretty good. One thing I am happy about with Scion as well is all of my stats are, like, perfect. I don't really have to worry about fucking stat allocation anywhere. So one of the biggest goals definitely is doing Uber Lab, because Uber Lab will give me access to branch through Ranger here. Grab, like, Ballistic Mastery, Druidic Rite, Flash Freeze, Herbalism, Heart Seeker, another Jewel, and Phase Acrobatics. So that's definitely going to be the main thing. But this is the tree as of right now. I have to figure out what I'm going to drop. Definitely like Serpent Stance. Probably a couple other nodes um, until I get here. Probably like all this like I was saying before. I, I feel like it's better to just travel through the mana. Anyway though, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember for people who are asking about the bandits... Uh, this is going to be an Alira character as we are Mind Over Matter and Crit, and we got all res, so it's like perfect. So you guys have a wonderful time. Remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox, and I hope to see you guys later. Take care, everybody.